I know it might seem like a bit of a hassle, but you couldn't move it to the centre, could you? Yeah, yeah. And welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a POV video shooting with the Sony A6400. This is technically my B camera. Uh, this replaced my D7500 and it's absolutely fantastic. It is a crop censored uh, camera with 24.2 megapixel sensor, which is more than enough. Um, I've often always shot between 20 and 24. The um, A7R4, my normal camera, is the only exception with 61 megapixels. And the only thing this camera doesn't have that I would like it to have it is five axis in body stabilization but that doesn't really take massive effect when doing photography unless you're really shooting with slower shutter speeds or anything like that and as well i'm going to be shooting today with 24 to 70 or the 51.4 i've decided to leave the 24 to 70 on but because this is a 24 to 70 designed for a full frame camera um there is a i believe 1.5 times crop so i think this is like an a28 to like what 80 75 mil kind of um, so it's a little bit more cropped in, but shouldn't cost anything significant in terms of the photography should be able to achieve. I mean, as a beginner mirrorless camera, this thing would be absolutely spectacular. But yeah, let's just begin. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what photography we could take. Oh, wow. Look at that reflection. Ooh, that is stellar. Right. I think I'll do it. That's the best we're going to do, especially with the crop. Can't believe how empty York is. The Minster is never this quiet. This is insane. I mean, look at down there. Nobody. Nobody. Hey, but I'm not complaining. It's making for a good photograph. I mean, I would prefer not to be in lockdown, but look at that. You can never get over this building and how magnificent it looks I might I might be graduating in that building when I finish university this year oh there you go that is a real decent shot right there you know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump up the aperture a bit for this shot so I go to about f5 I reckon bring the shutter speed down quite a bit there that's a booming shot that's what I wanted I think that was good. Just trapped it, waited, shot. We've got a Jaguar down there. Mm, nah, it's not very good for subject. Ooh, that's good for the subject. Oh, get it quick. I'm going to try and make it like within a frame within a frame. Need to change my focusing, go to centre probably. Go back there, boom, there you go. Oof, oof. Look at these cobbled streets of all these reflections and all this. Keep it nice and wide, because that's what I want to try and establish in these photographs right here, the emptiness. This is usually a bustling street. That is usually a bustling street. It's dead. Nobody is here. But I don't want to just establish him with like no artistic merit and just go boom, a there, there's an empty street. I want to, you know, express the colours, I want to be able to frame it, I want to be able to maybe use reflections if I can, just to express the loneliness but also throw creativity within that. for an interesting photo of uh... nah, That's a shit shot down there. But now there's actually a person. I've just realised there's one place I can go for the perfect reflection. It's two cars parked in front of where my reflection normally is. Look, look at this reflection. I'll take a photograph, I'll come back later. That is just... The best photograph. 
always worth like looking at puddles, seeing what reflections you could potentially get because you never know what might be around the corner or anything really. So I always have a look around. That shot really showed scale with the person all the way at the bottom. Love it, moving on. I like this composition right here. This one right here is stellar, look at that. No people, nothing like that. So the shambles, usually the busiest street in York is... I'm not good at them. It's dead. About there. Been on the shuttle speed to about there, I reckon. Pump up the eyes so it's hard. Oh, can we do something with reflection, I see. I think that's the best we're going to be able to do. That is a killer shot right there. Shoot at 70 mil. Get a mince in the background. I'm going to bump up the aperture to around F5. I need someone to walk past. That's what I need. Well, I'm not getting it. Oh, don't you dare party Mitsubishi in front of me. Oh, you... You absolute cock, you felon, you other harsh words. What would make this shot even better, and it's impossible, but to have no cars down here, and you see that tree, chop it down, that would make for one of the best photographs in York, I'm not even joking. Perfect. Interesting. Look at that face focus. Picks up the face immediately. That door isn't level. Look at these row of houses. Like, what are they? 13th, 14th century? Wow. That was a that was a good shot there. Bit of foreground interest as well. We got a jag. We get a photo of its headlight. That seems to be a tradition in most of my uh, <laughs> POVs is to get one photograph of a jag. Use the 70 mil to get some compression with the background. I'm actually digging the grey of that car. Pretty sweet ass bike there. I'm gonna take a photo of it. Is that yours? Am I might right take a photo of it? Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. Do you have uh, anything you want me to send them across with? No, it's You've got one. Yeah, I've got one. If you want to search me, Curtis Padley, I should come up pretty quickly, mate. I know it might seem like a bit of a hassle, but you couldn't move it to the centre, could you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, well, I reckon if it's looking the facing this way, like there, that would be brilliant. That works, that's stunning. Now we've got our own private photo shoot. Like that, look at that, that's really nice. And get a detailed shot there of like the wheel. Oof, these shots are screaming at me, these are incredible. Let me try and shoot go on the 50, 1.4. Exactly, look at that. This is a bit of fun. 
Imagine if I get a shot like this. Yes. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. All right. Well, take care, buddy. See you later. Bye-bye. Dude, that photo shoot was sick. Oh, that was so worth it. You know what? Just asking people sometimes gets you so far. Yeah. This is going to be a belter of a POV. I'm pretty psyched right now. I don't think the photos are going to top those ones right there. Might take a photo. Yeah, perfect, thank you. If you don't mind like standing there, that'll be really nice. Just like, like how you're standing right there is perfect. <laughs> Brilliant, have a lovely day. Thank you, bye-bye. I'm liking the light down here. It's changed a bit from earlier. Look at this up there. Oh, that might have been a baller shot. I like that. Also the guy over there taking, that's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. The other guy over there looked like a mobster with a taxi. Not a whole building, modern car. Then if that worked. Look at that little little house. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, just chilling there. Oh my god! I've not got a photo of that, but oh my! Oh, that was sweet! Can we do any panning here? Oh, we can do some panning here. Do a bit, a little bit. I'll take the Beamer. You know that was a good shot. Yeah! <laughs> Got to match their speed to get these shots. Oh, let's make the police go a million miles an hour. We can do it. Yeah. To our next location. Let's have a little look through the hashtag CP photos. About four and a half thousand posts on it now. Let's start from recent. Um, let's. Oh, we've got a Robin. Travel, geography, life. Beautiful shot of a robin like there, absolutely love that. Um, Keith, that's a really cool shot. I love the reflection, I love everything about that in image. That is really interesting. Is that by seventh verse again? You always get your shouts because I always love your images. Great work, mate. That is that is another fantastic job right there. Um, oh, I love that, love that with all the lights and everything like that. Eddie Lush photography, superb work right there. That's a really nice shot right there. Panos, that is superb. Love the tones you got in that image as well. Great work. And one more today. And oh, I like that. B Waller photography. Love that black and white photo right there. Brilliant work. Thank you all for using the hashtag. Let's get back to doing some photography. We've arrived at our location. And look at that. That is a great composition right there. Love that. I'm liking that, I'm digging that. Let's give this some foreground interest. That's some nice foreground interest right there, yes. Yeah. Sometimes just adding that little bit of depth to an image really just brings out the subject a little bit more, I find. I'm actually really enjoying shooting with the a 6400 Of course, I love the A7R4, and obviously that is the best camera I've ever had. But as a B camera for photography, this is a little beast. But to be honest, you can take photos of any camera from the last 15 years and get fantastic results. It's a pretty nice photograph, that. Right? Simple, quaint, to the point. That makes a good shot right there. I like that. For this last little bit, we're going to switch to the 50. That is fastened down, that's ready to go. Just get this all salted. We're now shooting at 1.4. Check out 
check out our depth of field. That is, that is some crisp stuff right there. Wow, did I just really capture face focus? It actually did. I don't know if you saw that, but it literally focused on the face. That's actually a decent shot right there. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, and because we're using a 50, um, this is now the equivalent of about a 75 mil, uh, which is a focal length that doesn't really exist. I am looking at maybe getting an 805 one day. I'm actually looking at the Samyang 85 1.4. Uh, I've been eyeing that one up for a while now because of the autofocus and the price. The price is the big game changer right there. Um, so I might get that in the future, but also eyeing up the 100 to 400, um, a 16 to 35. Uh, but I think I'd like to get a focal range that I haven't got, such as, well, I know that I have a 16, but I have 24, which is wide enough, but I'd rather go and get to it like 100 to 400 or an 85 mil or something like that. Well, that's just very British, isn't it? Look at that crazy boat right there. That's pretty insane now. Look at his reflection. Ooh. Banging. I'm happy with that. That's just a nice shot right there. I like all the lights inside of her. We need some people walking past it. Let's see if we can just stand here, try not to look weird, and then get a photo of them. I'm probably going to be able to achieve two of those three things. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, we're bang. I take photo. It's just been good to be go out and create again. It's that quiet. You can hear birds over people. Look at that. That's real nice. And if I can step back a little bit, I can get some more of that, like, the reflection a little bit. Yes, like that. That bow -esque. That is kind of insane right there. I mean, it's only a bike, but it makes, for, it just comes to life because of the nature of this lens. Look at that. Get for these people. Nice. Perfection. I like that because it's been natural. That's good. Wow, well, look at that. Stella, that is exactly what we want. There you go. Let's just move someone else's trash for a photograph. Perfect. That's the shambles we like. And that is where I'm going to be leaving today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's POV. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. And until next time, everyone, keep creating. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace. Oh.